All right, uh, give uh, give Wisconsin credit uh, for. Uh, I thought they played really well in stretches, and and uh, we didn't really have an answer for Iverson uh, or Hap. Um, we just didn't. So, first of all, give give them credit. Obviously, our guys uh, battled and uh, fought. Thought the crowd was unbelievable. Uh, the, our 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 crowd was was outstanding. The energy they provided. So, as a coach, I certainly wish uh, I would have been able to help these guys get through and and win on Senior Day uh, for a variety of reasons. But uh, we'll we'll find a way to move forward. Chris, you were very clear on Friday about the offensive struggles that you're going through and the just where your roster is right now, with especially with Caleb out. Against the backdrop of that and against everything the last two and a half games have shown, when you get offense like you did in the last five, six minutes, what does that tell you about this team and why were you able to see some guys flip some switches that they've not been able to recently? You know, I think in some cases, and you, and you see it sometimes, um, you know, backs are to the wall and, and you know, it, in, in some ways there's a, you know, there's more of a freedom you play with. Um, I thought, you know, I thought uh, full court pressure created some opportunities for us, but that was more to try to eliminate them from just rolling it into Hap. Um, but, uh, you know, I just thought, you know, it, w what I said was, you know, we were just going to roll with, roll with our two seniors, really, um, uh, two of our three seniors, and kind of see where that took us. And I thought those guys spearheaded our comeback in a lot of ways. With when you talk about your backs being against the wall and, and seeing what you guys have, did you learn something about some guys tonight, or is there anything new about this team that you think you might have discovered tonight? No, I you know I think this group has had great spirit. Um, and I was really disappointed with how we came out in the second half, and I made that clear in the timeout. Um, I just was really disappointed with our body language, um, and some of that was our youth, and some of that was just I don't know, but. Uh, but man, did they show some serious guts there uh, in the second half? And uh, you know, it's hard in the midst of a game when you're when you're fighting and you just you can't get over the hump. You can't make a shot. Those first four minutes again for us were were difficult. And you, you got to fight. You got to fight that frustration. And uh, it's hard when you know when you've either struggled individually or you struggled collectively. And we've got some guys that are struggling, but. Um, you know, at some point, you know, this game requires you to kind of have some courage and, and cut loose and play. And I, I just thought our guys did a great job of that. Chris, do you know, uh, moving forward, whether or not if, if your team needs it, that you'll be able to get on the microphone, no matter what arena you're playing in, and <laughs> get them juiced up? Our, I, I mean, our, our, I did that because the uh, official uh, uh, came to me and said, hey, could you help us with them throwing stuff on the floor? So I said, if you're asking me to get on the microphone, I certainly will. Um, but man, I just, you know, this this team, you know, you, you go through a couple games where you get beat up quite a bit, and you know, it's like when you're at home, and we, we didn't we didn't give them a great reason there for a while to to really. Uh, and Wisconsin played a big role in that. We just didn't give them enough of a reason to get loud, but it's like they were just kind of wrapping their arms around their guys, knowing that we had some guys struggle. And it was, it was the difference uh, for sure. And then, so when when that happens, I'm just wondering: is it is it more encouraging that you guys have been beat up a little bit, and you were able to summon that at the end against a really good team, or is it frustrating that you're like, wh where has this been? Like, why haven't we had this sort of sense of urgency, knowing the position we've been in the last couple of games? You know, I, I uh, probably a little bit of both, but I do think it. Listen, it, it does take a little bit to find your way when you pull a guy out of the lineup that has played such an important role on your on your team. Like, I don't know that that's an immediate uh, thing. I, you know, um, and, and that's right. I mean, I'm not saying that you know no one's feeling sorry for us, nor should they. I just think that that that's a little bit of an adjustment, and uh, um, you know, I. I, I, you know, contrary to maybe what other people thought, I thought we showed some fight uh, at Northwestern. I did not think that at Purdue. I did not. 
But I thought we did at Northwestern, particularly in the second half. I really did. I left that watching, saying, hey, we, had, we showed a little spirit. Um, I did not think that at all at Purdue. But I thought it was a little bit, at, uh, it was better against Northwestern. And then I thought today, being at home and having some energy behind you um, helped us. Chris, you've talked about Caleb, but he's still a little bit the elephant in the room in terms of uh, moving forward. Will he be back for the next game, uh, A, if you know that? And two, how do you prepare him? I I'm sitting there tonight watching this game thinking what's going through his mind. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 18, 19-year-old kid, but there's still consequences. Yeah. I mean, his actions have affected things. Yeah. W what are those conversations like without giving too much detail? And and how is the team reacting to this? Because human nature is, if he'd have been here, if, if, if. Sure, absolutely. He's a good player, really good player. And a uh, big part of what we're, what we're doing and what we've done. Um, and I think is, you know, it's, it's, it's very rare when you have a player who's a sophomore who's, you know, in a lot of ways, your, your most integral player on both ends. But, in, in, you know, and that's, I think probably that's a lesson for, for all of us in the sense that, that um, uh, hard to be that dependent uh, on one particular uh, person. Um, and and uh, I think, you know, I think moving forward, I think that's, that's a lesson, you know, injuries happen, the, you know. Uh, I think the, the conversations have been, have been frequent, they've been honest. Uh, um, he um, is a young man that is always, um, uh, he's a young man that looks you in the eye and listens to you um, and hears what you say. Um, yeah, I love coaching the kid, um, uh, but those conversations have been honest and direct, and uh, within our team and one-on-one, and, -on -one and, and you know they'll remain private. You think is he is the plan to have him back next game? Um, you know we'll we'll address that here um, moving forward. Um, we'll address that moving forward when uh, we have a an actual answer I can give you. CJ, 22 points, 5-1 to one assist to turnover ratio just from him today. What did you see that you liked out of him? I thought he was playing really aggressive. That's why I went to him late. Um, I, I just thought he was playing aggressive and pretty confident. I know he banked in one, but but uh, I thought he was playing aggressive and confident and got to the rim, got to the foul line, um, um, attacked in transition. That had been a big emphasis for us. Um, thought he was active. Thought he played like a guy who really, really cared at a high level, which is, you know, which is what your seniors do on senior day. And um, man, I would have loved. He had a pretty clean look there um, uh, on the dribble up three. I, I would have loved for that to go down. But uh, um, yeah, I'm sure he's frustrated with his free throws. Uh, but the fact that he got to the line 11 times is pretty good. I'm just wondering when Keyshawn intercepted that at the end of regulation and threw it up. What were what were you thinking, and did you think there's a chance it was on? It looked right online. It looked right online. I mean, it was two feet maybe away from at least hitting the rim. Uh, it looked it looked pretty good from my standpoint. And uh, you know, we were debating on whether to put somebody on the ball or not. And I'm always a guy on the ball um, in those situations, always. But uh, you, you notice in Purdue last year, we had a guy on the ball. Um, but we had Kate on the ball, and we had Caleb back. So it's a little different this year. Um, so that's why we tried to put a, an, an extra defender in the, in the back court or in the front court. Chris, I'm sorry to belabor the point, but I think there's a teleconference tomorrow. You're going to be available probably Tuesday or Wednesday. When do you expect to have an answer on Caleb that we'll know? Um, I would expect, and then what's the next? When are we getting together here again? Okay, I think I'll have something for you by then. I would expect uh, by Tuesday we'll have something for sure. Okay, when you uh, when you guys left here after Iowa, it just felt like it was inevitable that you guys were going to the tournament. You you didn't want to talk about it, good or bad, at any point. But what have the last three games since that suspension, the losses that you mentioned, what have they been like for you? Where it seemed like there was so much optimism after that one night, yeah. and it's completely other than the second half rally, it's just felt like it's been completely different for you guys. It's been really hard. Yeah, it's been really hard. I mean, losing, losing is brutal. It's miserable. I mean, it's, 
it's, you know, it's miserable. So, um, you know, you don't sleep, you don't eat. Um, you're trying to find a way to, to uh, you know, you're searching for answers in some ways. Um, and, uh, but, you know, listen, as, as I've maintained, uh, we, you know, we got a choice in this whole deal. And, and the choice is to, to um, you know, complain about the circumstances or, you know, what's happened or just to kind of control our, our daily attitude and our approach to each day and, and uh, how aggressive we're being at, a, at approaching that day and to embrace the fact that, that listen, uh, while we were in great position and I, I don't follow it enough to know where we're at now, but, but um, uh, you know, the reality is, is we've certainly got something to play for, it's, and and that needs to be our approach. I just think, as much as anything, in light of all this, you know, I've just tried to eliminate those kind of uh, following all that. Just again, because it it can wear you down. You know, the reality is, like, we just have to find a way uh, to to play well, and we did that for stretches against a good team. We really did, and. And we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that uh, more and longer, and see where that takes us. And if it, listen, if it doesn't, if we're not good enough, we're not good enough. You know, we'll, 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 but we're gonna fight like hell to get there. Okay. Lori, do you have one last one? I'm just wondering, you guys missed the first 13 shots the other night. The first 11 tonight are just. Your offensive woes being magnified at the beginning of the game, or, or guys taking time to get adjustments? Is it a function of not having a starting five that was been able to gel all year? I mean, what what's happening at the start of games for the, that cold shooting? Um, you know, I think one, two, two pretty good defenses that we played in the last two games, um, uh, really last three games, but last two games for sure. So so give them credit. Um, I, I don't think it's you know I don't think it's all on us you know they're they're obviously doing some things. We had some really good looks, and uh, that's the thing as a coach you're trying to do is get really good looks. Like we had some shots right around the basket, uh, layups, and we had some pretty clean open threes. You know we just missed them, and our message to our guys was the quality of our shot. Just we just need to control the quality of our shot and be aggressive with that. And I thought, um, you know we did. We had a stretch in the second half where some of our young guys didn't quite understand that, but um, but I, that's that's all we can control is the quality of our shot, and um, you know I, I think uh, perhaps the lineup change has affected that. I'm sure it has, but um, you know we got good looks and we'll, we'll knock them down.